then. The slums part two. Five out of 27? Five out of 27 what? Time to be a little key cat. Oh yeah, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Hello! Yes, can I help you? What are we... Showing him? This? Oh wow, that's a great tracker. I recognize this model. It's the Tohima BR2000. You can track anyone with this little gadget. May I? I know how to repair it, but when I'm trembling like this, I can't use my keyboard. I don't know if I'm sick or something, but I definitely don't feel right. I can't work when I'm shivering like this. I think I need a blanket to be able to fix your tracker. Do you not have a blanket here? Don't you live here? Oh, wait. I thought I saw something down here. What do I do? Oh. This tree is a scientific marvel. It's remarkable that human ingenuity found a way to create plants that thrive without sunlight. Organic life requires trees to purify the city's air. Robots don't need it, but they take care of them anyways. It's what the humans would have wanted. Okay. Now where would I find a blanket, sir? Oh, I'm just gonna scratch the door. I'm in! Welcome back. Thanks, Peter! I know I logged into Twitch to start getting ready to stream and Positive Tony had um, messaged me a few, like an hour and a half ago being like, are you streaming again tonight? And I'm like, I totally didn't see this message. I felt hella bad. I need a blanket. Is there a blanket up there? Blanket? No. How do robots get cold and need blankets? Elliot's a hypochondriac. Not many of those anymore. It got passed down from my ancestors. If you want him to go back to work, you better bring him some cloth. That'll better him up. How do I get cloth, though? It didn't tell me where I may find it. Anyone got some cloth? Yeah, the chat didn't go away. <laughs> see here wait I think I might be able to fix that just really fast let's see proof here I am <laughs> hello sorry I didn't see a message right away <laughs> but I did respond we're gonna go ahead and put that back on did that fix it that fixed it cool okay where would I find a blanket we were programmed to be slaves but since however many days we have a soul hope one day the outsiders will find the exit of this hell Momo let me out Oh, he almost closed the door on me. Okay, where would I find a blanket? Grandma made me this scarf. Isn't it wonderful? She knits so well. Okay, where's Grandma? Is Grandma in here? Grandma! That's when I said bye. It already ended the stream. Sorry! Who's this? This is the newspaper from the people living above on level two. It's a few years old, but it's something to read. Here it already ended up. I apologize. Sometimes when my head hurts and I want to get off, I just kind of go quickly. I, I do apologize. Let's go. Cool. What game is this? This is Stray. It's new. It's like a little game where you play as a cat and it's kind of like cyberpunk. We're trying to find out how to get to the outside because this entire place, like that's not the sky. That is a ceiling. So, we're going around. The cat can't talk, but we got a little robot that's come with us that can talk. But that robot that we need to fix our tracker is cold, and so we gotta find him a blanket, and I have no idea where to find a blanket. I left it in the streets, and the next day the Zerks had consumed it completely. That's crazy, right? They can eat anything. Hmm, I already talked to these guys. All the weird stuff always happens to you, mate. I don't dare leave our village. It's too dangerous. A ceiling with shiny dots, true. Besides, the Guardian is the only one who can open this door. Hmm. Where would I find a blanket? What is this? Oh. Oh, he did a little heart on his face. <laughs> oh. Is this cloth? No, that looks like a bag. Hello. Do you have cloth? Look at all the great stuff that falls into our trash. So many treasures. You should go visit the Barterman. There's something for everyone over there. Okay, you're not telling me where any of these are. The Guardian is that monk robot. I know who the Guardian is, but does he have a blanket for me? You look lost. What do you need? I need a blanket. 
How do I tell him I need a blanket? They all have blankets. Can I take one of them? Y'all mind? I don't think it's one of these. Hmm. I'm finding something more. Maybe someone can make one around here. That doesn't help me either. Is there even like a map? No. Hello, ma'am. Hello, I'm a musician, but I don't have any songs. Oh. Petite Vals. Sounds cool. Here, watch that. You tell him by saying meow. I know. That was adorable. That was adorable. Paper bag. Oh, uh oh. Uh oh. Stupid cat. <laughs> Oh no! It inverts your controls whenever you have this on. I don't know how to- Get it off! How do I get it off? Hello? Help! This is- Okay, thank you. I can't handle inverted controls. Access the sewers- Access to the sewers is condemned because of prolifer- prolifer- pr Proliferation of Zerks. Stay safe, stay in the safe zone. Okay. Oh, wait, we found the safe password, didn't we? Wait. Wait, oops. Nope. Follow numbers, but it looks like binary language is a succession of zeros and ones. Probably related to the safe. Okay, so we can't do that yet because it's not deciphered. I have no idea where to get a blanket, to be honest, so, uh, bear with me for a little bit. They said that their grandma made one, but I don't know where their grandma is. Oh, I already- I already talked to him. Oh, this is a laundromat! There's gotta be, like, a cloth in here that I can take. There's literally cloth everywhere! Take one! Look it! Take a shirt! No, okay. Where's the signs? What the heck? Why is, uh... Uh... Uh-oh. <laughs> Guys, we're haunted. <laughs> Guys, there's a ghost. <laughs> Gotta change the category to horror real quick. One moment, there's a ghost. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, we're in the slums. Invisible robot. No, it's a ghost! There were signs saying where things were. I feel like one of the signs said something about a grandma. This looks like it is a grandma. Grandma clothing. Perfect! Look it, now she likes me. I do love knitting. So far, I've knitted 478 miles of scarves. It's something to do. If you me some electric cable, I could make you a poncho. You inspire me, but it's not easy to find the right materials around here. Electric cable? Stray is a good name for a horror game. It really is. The one word ones are always the scariest games. Elliot program. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have cables, guys? I need electric cables. Hello? This is a programming place. They've got technology. Oh my goodness. I just need electric cables. Will you let me in this door? No? Okay. Hmm. That window's closed. Okay. So we have to find somewhere that gives us an electric cable. Hello, let me out. Let me out. Release me. Okay. Where would I find me some electric cabling? He didn't really specify what 
Kind of like, why am I walking slow now? That was a dramatic, like, little snap of my camera that I couldn't control. Hmm. Oh. Let me in. Anyone there? It's okay, you can leave. The Guardian said it was not the Zerks. Okay. So... Oh, remember. Rest in peace, humans with a heart. <laughs> R.I.P. humans. <laughs> humans were the first residents around here. It seems they're all dead now. What do you think it feels like being dead? I'm pretty sure it feels like nothing. I know it's silly coming from me, but do they actually- are they- Oh my god, yawn. <sighs> but are they actually at peace? Will I be at peace when I die? I don't even know what death feels like for an AI. I'm sorry, I didn't want to break the mood. Let's move on. You already broke the mood, my mans. Oh. <laughs> hey! We got an energy drink. <laughs> the robot mo ghost is still here. Oh, yeah, that's the signs. Barter man. So maybe the barter man. You think it would also be nothing? I don't know. I'm not a religious person. I don't really know what goes on if you die. I'm just kind of vibing. To me, I think it'll be a sweet, sweet release of my pain. I'm kidding. That sounds morbid, and you can't be morbid on stream. Are you the barter man? That guy's cleaning the paint again. Sure, he's making you spell that detergent. Hmm. Okay, so it says the barter man's this way. Where's the next set of signs? Are you the barter man? <gasps> Electric cables! Hello, I'm the merchant of the market. You give me something, I'll give you something in exchange. It's as simple as that. This is a set of electric cable, the best in the market. I'll exchange it for a super spirit detergent, best I can do. Why is it all over the place? And I don't, I'm really bad at directions. I don't know how to remember to go places. Where was the guy cleaning? He was this way? Yeah, you've got the detergent. Can I have some detergent? Yeah, yeah. Any, any detergent in here? Oh, there it is. There we go. Just gonna steal from this guy and not from the other guy, apparently. Little cat thief. Don't ask me where I put the detergent. You don't want to know. Here you go. Hello again. What do you want now? This is a set of electric cable, the best one on the best of the market. I'll exchange this for super spirit detergent, best I can do. Well, lucky for you, my mans. Here you go. So now we gotta find our way back to grandma's. Music sheet, a masterful piece of art, and a very renowned artist. It will cost you one edit. Hey, I've got that! Give. Here you go. Okay, well, I've got sheet music four of eight. I don't know how many I have. <laughs> I feel like I've been pretty good about collecting them. Is that the grandma? No. Where was the grandma? Not that way. Nyom. Where's the grandma? I saw the signs. Let me see the signs. Grandma clothing. Okay, this way. This way. Grandma, I got you electric cables! I'd love to make a poncho for you, but I need that cable. Here you go. Thank you, my dear. I'll get to work right away. Uh, it's it's in my robot. Gained new item. That looks like shit. <laughs> there you go, little one. It'll suit you well. Cool. Okay, and then... Where was it? Was it this? Yes. Okay, cool. I like how the clothing place was literally right there, and I ran all around the map instead of going to that. A map would be very useful. I know, there's no maps in this game. They gotta keep in mind the stupid players. <laughs> Hello, thank you. Up we get. Hello, I got you a blanket. Don't worry, the tracker is safe with me, but I can't work unless I do have cloth to keep me warm. 
There you go. I got an ugly poncho for you. Oh, where'd you find this? It's amazing. Let me try it on. <laughs> look, no tremors. I'm able to work again. Thanks. Now I can definitely fix your tracker. Let me take a look. Just gotta give it an update and one more thing. Voila. Fixed tracker. There you go, little one. Good luck finding who you were looking for. Thanks, bud. It's all over the ground. I thought I saw other things I could interact with. I think it was just jumping. Excuse me, sir. I need to be let out again. You're so sleepy for a robot. Let me out. There we go. Then we have to go to the bar. Hello. I got the tracker. I'm really struggling to get this connection back. Did you find anything interesting at Seamus's? Oh, wait, no, I'm not supposed to talk to him. So what happens when you let a grandma make you clothes. My grandma buys me really bad clothes. She buys me whatever's on clearance at Kohl's. It never turns out well. Um, where's the person we're supposed to talk to? They had an open door, I'm like fairly certain. So it's not Momo. I thought it was Momo, but whatever. Um, I don't think anyone was this way. I think this is kind of like a little dead end over there. Let's see, let's see, let's see. We're just doing some laps. We're just getting our cardio in. Not there. Gotta drift the cat. Not there. See, like I said, I'm too stupid for these maps. <sighs> let's go. Not there. Okay, I know I'm missing something. Let's see. No, wait, I need... Now that we fixed the tracker, let's find Seamus and his papa. Yeah, okay, that's what it was. And I knew where he was at one point. Isn't he over here? Should be here, right? Yeah! There we go. Did you manage to fix that tracker? You're in luck. You did it? You fixed it? Well done. Give it here. Mm, I don't know. I'm kind of attached to it now. I had to put in a lot of work to be able to get this one. Fine. <sighs> oh, very bad head pain. Oh my goodness. That hurt. I just got stabbed. Is Papa really alive? I can't believe it. Let's follow the tracker. Maybe we'll find where my Papa went. Oh my god, that made me tear up. Oh, sorry. That hurts. Yeah. Following you. <laughs> I'm committing insurance fraud. Give me workman's comp. Step on me. Break a bow and I get more money. What's the tracker for? We have to find his dad. His dad went on a journey to try to get to the outside and he hasn't heard from him since. And we went and we found his dad's old tracker. Took the rest of the day off. It's fine. I'm fine besides that. I can manage the rest of the pain. Just sometimes it just, you get like a really bad wave, but then it goes away. So I'm okay now. <laughs> um, but yeah, his dad was trying to get to the outside. He hasn't heard from him since. He thought his dad died. We found his dad's old tracker, and he caught signal of his dad. So we had to fix the tracker, which is what we did. And now we gave him the tracker, we found a ping, and we're following it to see if we can find his dad. His papa. This must be it. He really left the slums. It's dangerous out there, but I must be sure. I need to know. Let's do this. Rotate. His science is dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They said that the Zerks don't like light. So I think for most of it, I should just have a flashlight out. That looks like a little ghost costume on the railing, but I'm sure I'm just seeing it wrong. 
Yeah, it was definitely not a ghost costume, but it looked like one the way that the shadows were on it. What's up? Where are we going? Time to take on more Zerks and yeah, and die. Oh, am I waiting? Look at all these Zerk eggs. They will they will eat us. I can't do this. It's not, I'm not as fast as you. The Zerks will get me for sure. Here, take this badge. My papa will recognize it. He will know that you're a friend. Okay, outsider badge. I'll open the door for you. You get just the right weapon for them soon. You get a weapon for them? How cyberpunk does this game go? Speaking of which, I do have cyberpunk. So I'm supposed to play that at some point. Oh my god, is that the right way or is that the right way? Hmm, this feels like secrets. Is there a secret over here? Oh, remember. Yeah, there's a secret over here. Mold or moss. Look at how huge this wall is. I remember, it was a symbol of the division between those in the slums and in Midtown. That and the fact that they were- they keep- they kept throwing their garbage down here. What a horrible thing to do. Maybe that's why they failed. Hmm. So, like, in the beginning of the game, when we were just a kitty with our little siblings, were, um, were we in the outside and, like, we fell through everything and went into here? Because I thought it was, like, ooh, dead end. That doesn't seem reassuring. Oh. Okay. Because, like, I thought we were outside. Like, there was, like, trees and water. Oopsies. Nope. Bye-bye. Nope. I thought they don't like light. Oh. Nope. Beep, 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 beep. Nope. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, guys. Noom. You had siblings? Um, in the beginning of the game, there was, like, like the very intro, like, sequence, the tutorial sequence. You were with three other cats. Um, and then you got separated from them. Because one of the- you were the last one to jump on one of the pipes, and the pipe broke away. Where am I going? Where am I going? Where am I going? Oh, I'm supposed to go under. Jumpy jumpies. Jump up to there. Jump. Oh. Down there. I assume we should not go in the water. Oh, wait. What if I jump from there and then I jump back and it'll swing me? Yeah, now you're thinking with portals. Keep going. Keep going. No. How do I... Why can't I reach? Can I jump on it again? Oh, because I'm stupid. That's why I can't reach. Uh, oh, I can just vertical that? Okay. Oh, now we driving! Oh my goodness, I can't steer! <laughs> Kill the Zerks! Kill the Zerks! Oh! This game is not realistic. The cat is supposed to always land on its feet. That's number one rule of cats. In both of the big fall sequences, he did not. Just because your head hurts? <laughs> we'll go with that too. Are you okay? That was a huge fall. Doc should be nearby. We must be close. Oh, he hurt his little foot. Oh my goodness. It's okay. He's not a happy camper. He liked it better. It's all good. Don't violate your first rule. Exactly. That's how cats work. Don't these people know cat physics? And up. And, oh, nope. That's not what I wanted. I want to go back up. Oh, I'm supposed to go that way. There we go. And vertical. Oh, it's got a little angry robot graffiti. Yeah. <laughs> And uppies and uppies. Oh, big lag entering new area. Someone was getting turned. They're having a good time right there. Let's see. That's more Zerk eggs. Is there anything here? No, no. What's this? Use item. What item would I use? Okay. Hmm, it's an electric generator, but it seems to require some other part to function. Thank you. 
I figured that when I didn't have anything that would fit into the hole. Let's see. Oh, that alerts the Zerks. I heard them get aggro. Can I jump up here? Why can't I climb up that? That's a hole in the room. No. Hmm. Up. Uppies. You can go in there. Oh, they've got them in little cages. What would you do with that B12? Honestly, suffer. Because we wouldn't be able to understand the robots in any kind of way. We would just sit there meowing. What is it, Luna? What is it? Why did you hastily get up? What's up? What's up? Is there a threat? Is there a threat? You were just dead sleeping and just jumped up. Are you, is everything okay? Did you secure the perimeter? Did you make sure there's no intruders? <laughs> this game's very unique. It really is. It's like a big craze right, right now. I almost had a stroke. Everyone's been talking about it. All of the big YouTubers have played it. <laughs> Can I jump on top of them? Look at you dummies. Oh, there's a knife. Oh my goodness, that's not morbid at all. Gotta be ready to kill your pet at any time. Okay, Luna didn't hear it. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh. Luna getting hyped. She wants to chase the cat. Please catch a pickle. I, like, I want to think of those as his eyes instead of his little face. Whoa. Wait, you're not a Zerk. Who are you? That's my badge you're wearing. How'd you find it? Did my son send you? Oh, Seamus, you clever boy. I've been here for ages. I came here to test my defluxer, but it didn't go as planned. I wish I could go back home. I miss my son dearly. You can have a look around the house if you want, but I have no idea how to escape this place. We'll figure it out together, Doc. Oh. <laughs> it's the bucket from the Stanley Parable! I've seen humans wear costumes like this. They were small and running around and making a lot of noise. <laughs> children. <laughs> oh yes, I remember now. They were children. <laughs> The streets felt so much more alive with them. Even with the difficulty they brought, the adults seemed to love them very much. Doc says he misses Seamus. Is that the same thing? Kinda. Ugh. Something I've noticed ever since the head inju injury, I've been like insatiably thirsty. Like I'm always wanting just to chug drinks. Luna, can I help you? I'm telling a story here. Okay, okay, we gotta give Luna a second of dedicated screen time. Let's see. Let's see. Luna wants her dedicated screen time, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, you get the big pets. You get the big pets. You get the big pets. How does robots become family when they're made by the same creator? Maybe the dad made him. Like, constructed him because he's a scientist. Why are you just licking my throat? I'm not even touching her. That's my heart monitor. What are you doing? Oh, wait, let's see if we can do this. Luna, Luna. Okay, wait. Sit. Nope, you gotta sit there. You were just doing it. Sit. Shake. Nope. Mm -mm. Nope, no licks. Sit. Shake. <laughs> Missed, but good enough. <laughs> Good girl, good girl, good girl. Big ol' waggy tail. Okay, now you get down. Your dedicated screen time is over. Nobody has redeemed pet dog. <laughs> Ooh. Nuna, good doggy. When she wants to be, sometimes she's a little shithead. I literally left the house for 30 minutes today, and I came back and she had already busted out of a cage. Can you give her a treat? I don't know, you got, you got some channel points? <laughs> Let's see, let's see. Wait, I'm gonna make it a redemption. Luna, no, get down. I'm gonna make it 2,000 points to give Luna a treat. Let's do it. Channel points. Uh, add a new custom reward. Two thousand. There we go. And is it on? Yeah, it's on. It's enabled. It's enabled. <laughs> so is Luna a support animal? We eventually want her to be an emotional support animal, but she's still a puppy and she's definitely not trained enough to be one. There we go, beater. 
<laughs> okay, Luna, the people have requested you. The people have requested you. Luna, you want a treat? Okay, wait. We gotta turn the chair so that I don't have any booty. I dropped the headset again. Come on, you want a treat? Okay, wait, you guys have to be able to see her, tr her tricks for this. Okay, Luna, sit. <laughs> no, 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 sit. Shake. And then other hand, uh -uh. sit. Oh, come here. Sit. Shake. Uh -uh. Sit. You gotta shake nicely. Shake. Uh -uh. Good girl. Bump. Good girl. Lay down. Up. 360. 360. Good girl. There you go. <laughs> you got her little treat so showcase. <laughs> okay, where did that headset go? That I like randomly threw. I am confused. Wait, where did the headset actually go? Did I really just lose a headset? What the fuck? Okay, no, it's right here. Oh my god, this headset gets in the way of everything. She's so excited. Yeah, she freaks out for treats. Come on. I never had this issue with my old headset. Okay. Okay. Good to go. <laughs> But yes, Luna was very excited. She knows all kinds of tricks, but sometimes with the treat, she gets excited. <laughs> fell to your left or right. Dude, it like, it like fell to my left, but then it was like wrapped around my chair and I couldn't find it anywhere. <laughs> I was just too blind. It was like the funniest thing. <laughs> Happiest dog when you're around. She's really fond of you. Dude, she is obsessed with me. <laughs> Trust me, I can't even like go to the bathroom without her following me into the bathroom because she will freak out. Like... I can't, like, I take baths a lot. She will literally sit there and stare at me the entire time I'm in the bath because she thinks I'm dying. So she'll, like, be sitting there. Sometimes she'll bring me her toys. She'll try to put her toys in the bathtub. Or she'll bring toys and, like, look at me like she wants to play fetch. Like, she's all over me all the time. <laughs> we are bonded. <laughs> okay. So we gotta find a way out of here. Anything up here? This looks important. No? Okay. She's a cutie, though. She's just only a little bit of a shithead. Oh, she found a squeaky toy. You know what that means, Luna. If you go too wild, I'm gonna have to confiscate it. Hey, be careful with that defluxer. At full charge, you can explode zerks like confetti. This baby needs 1.2 gigawatts to work, and the only thing around here with that kind of juice is the generator outside this house. The problem is that it won't start. I think a fuse blew, and with all the zerks around, it's too dangerous for me to go out and fix it. You can believe. No, trust me, we joke about it all the time. Because, like, Max was being all cute the other day, and he was talking about, like, oh, I feel like we're so much closer lately. Like, we're having such a good time. We haven't fought, like, in months. Like, he's, like, all excited. And I'm like, yeah, well, the nice thing is that I have the dog. So even if we do ever fight, then you can't leave me. <laughs> and so I always joke. I'm like, I have 51% custody. He has 49% custody. But if we were to ever break out, break up, the dog is legally mine. And he is obsessed with her. I'm like, I am fairly sure he likes the dog more than me. He comes home and he will go straight to the dog instead of straight to me. So, <laughs> but I'm like, I straight up, I'm like, you can't break up with me because I got the dog. And we have like this like joke that if I were to die because of like my medical issues or whatever, I told him he can't even touch a girl for at least three years. He's got to grieve me for at least three years, which I feel like is fair. That is very fair, you know, because he talks about us being soulmates and shit. So I'm like, three years is very fair. So I'm like, he can have the dog if I die, but my family's gonna check up on him. And if he has a girlfriend before that three years is up, he loses the dog. I'm like, I'm gonna put it in my will. <laughs> I'm not fast enough, but you might just be. If you reach the generator and replace the fuse, you should be able to get the deflector recharged. Luna, come here. Bring me your donut. Get your toy. Get your toy. Come on. Come here, get your toy. No, get that toy. Bring it to me so I don't have to get up. Go get your toy. And then we gotta confiscate it. Not just legally, I can see Luna choosing you over Max. Yep. Yep. Come here, Luna. Bring me that. Come here. 
Can I have the donut? Can I have the donut? Drop it. Good girl. No donut for Luna. Apologies, ma'am. <laughs> That's so fucked up. I, I made her think we were going to play just so I could take it. <laughs> Come on, follow me. I'll show you what to do. She's staring at me from the other end of the house waiting for me to throw it. <laughs> Definitely need to put that in writing. Yep. <laughs> it was joking. Max was joking and he's like, I could just take the dog and flee the country and your parents won't be able to find me. And I'm like, wow, you're that determined to be with another girl after you break up with me? He's like, that's not what I said. I'm like, that's how you're acting. <laughs> I tease him all the time about it. Here, take this fuse. It's brand new. Okay. Is that what a fuse looks like? Okay. Turning on the generator will be loud, so expect some zerks. Once you fix the generator, I should be able to charge and kickstart the defluxer. You just need to follow this cable, change the fuse, and then meet me back here. Best of luck. Okay, well, I'd already tried to do that when I came in this area. Yum. Out we go. You know, you'd think that he would have, like, made a base closer to it. <laughs> but no. Luna's all offended. <laughs> There we go, we got a fuse. And it's gonna be bum bum bums. Run! Run! Start running, cat! Oh, they're coming out of everything. Oh! That's dope. He can literally just melt them. How does that not hurt me? Just because I'm not sensitive to light? Nope, 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 no, 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 that's a lot. Excuse me, excuse me, I got places to be. No, 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 jumpies, jumpies. Whew. There we go. Imagine putting all that on a cat. I know, dude. Imagine, it, like, you literally are like, this thing can save us from all of these evil things, but only you can do it. Have fun, and you hand a cat a fucking fuse, and the cat just looks at you and, like, is like, what the fuck? <laughs> Amazing, you got the generator back on. Have you seen how powerful the defluxer is? It's definitely our way out of here. Wait a minute, I might be able to mount this defluxer to your drone. Ooh. Can it aim for me? There's your ultimate weapon. Luna will remember that just like in the Telltale games. <laughs> Luna's gonna be like, I ain't playing fetch with you again. Shit. Where'd she go? Oh, she's right behind me. She's just waiting. <laughs> it worked. The defluxer is now installed on your fancy drone there. It's not meant to run off such a small power source. If you use it too much, it could malfunction. Okay, wait. Can I pause it? Yeah, I never, I never redeemed that I did do that, <laughs> that I did give her a treat. It was bothering me having the notification still up. Just remember, it's dangerous. Now let's get back to the village. I'm coming home, son. Son. It's funny because I keep calling him Papa, but then when I talk about his son, I go, son. <laughs> you're all rusty, my mans. Does that show that you're an old robot because you're the dad robot? I'm gonna jump on these books. And then if I jump off, nah. Yeah, I was like, sometimes it makes them knock over. <laughs> Thank you, kind sir. There's baddies right there. Use your defluxer. Oh, am I supposed to do it? How do I do it? Oops. Take out all those zerks so we can get through. Uh, oh, it's LB. Cool. Wow, it's working great. But as I suspected, it can overheat. Let it cool for a bit when that happens. I hope it will last until we reach the village. She's eating her food, okay. I'm like, what the heck is she getting into? See ya, sucker. Oh, is he gonna open the door? Look at him sneaking over. He is, I've never seen uh, Back to the Future, but is this supposed to be like a reference to it? It kind of looks like what I thought I've seen in, like, memes. <laughs> the switch doesn't look. Work. It looks like the electricity has been cut. Is that my job, too? Wait, can I go up there? No? Okay. Let's see. Wait. Can you lift me up into here? There must be a way to open that door. Come here. Let me up. Let me up. And just notice the emotes. 
Found the solution to the Zerg's problem. Now he's going to be famous. <laughs> True. And yeah, Positive Tony, now that you've gotten that gifted sub, um, you have access to all my little emotes. And you don't get ads. Why, can I go up? Or like, what does he want me to do? I know there must be a way to open that door, and I'm pretty sure you have to just throw me through there. Oh, oh, wait. I get it. 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 just the smartest there we go hey i'll be, I'll be. no problem beater oh now we got a parkour oh oh that's noise though there's gonna be zerks huh oh okay How do I open the door? Oh, he's got it. He's got it on his own. I did it, sir. Oh, that's an issue. Run! Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Why is it not? I'm pressing LB. It wasn't doing it. God damn. <sighs> I gotta do this again? Okay. Man. Okay. One moment, I need to charge it down. Oh. Hello, sir. I'm here to actually save you this time. Run! Oh. We're overheated. Nope, nope, nope. There we go. You're not dead. Okay. We did it, sir. You did absolutely nothing. I did all of the work. Phew, that was close. Let's go back home. Yeah, good plan. Thanks, bud. It ain't my home, though. I'm trying to go outside. No more Sprite. Sprite gone. No. We're back! It was through this door. I like how the guy's like, I can't find a way out of here. I've been stuck and I can't see my son. I miss my son so much. And we literally solved the problem in half a second. <clears throat> how do the Zerks even hurt them? Like, because they don't have blood. It feels like they're like sucking out my blood. You ain't got no blood to suck, my boy. We're back. Papa. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That is adorable. That is absolutely adorable. Hello. What is up? Thanks for saving Doc, little friend. It's great to see that Seamus is no longer alone. Now that we know we can fight back, uh, now we know that we can fight back against the Zerks. Momo has been waiting for you by the sewers. Okay. Doc and Seamus look happy. I think we did a good thing together. 
I think we did too, but who needs good deeds when, you know, we could just freaking murder people? That's what I normally do. Is this the sewers? Are you Momo? No. This looks like the sewers. Oh. Oh my goodness, big lag. Oh, there's Momo. Hi, Momo. At least they made it pretty, and I guess robots can't smell, so... Jump on the boat when you're ready. Let's get out of here. Okay. Is there anything in here? Anything I need to remember? I feel like there's got to be a secret. Secrets? Come on. There's got to be a secret. There's no way they built all of that just for funsies. Oh, okay. Let's go. Let's go, Momo. Can't believe you found Doc and got the defluxer. With this, now we can find Zabaltazar. Let's go. The sewers. I love that Momo has the little colorful face. More angry robots. It's the same graffiti. Why are the robots angry? They shouldn't have emotions. There's a ladder. That looks like it goes up and out of here. Look at this cat just chilling. This cat is unbothered. What if I just jumped off? They built that just for funsies. <laughs> usually when there's extra areas like that in video games, there's usually a purpose because, you know, developers don't like to make more than they have to. Can't believe they wasted my time for funsies. Let me off. I wanna go swimming. I wanna go swimming. <laughs> oh, that's a dead robot. Oh, I can talk to him? I don't see a way to open this gate. Can you look on the other side? Okay. It's always on me. I am just a little cat. Hmm. Why is it always my responsibility? In The Walking Dead, it's the 11-year-old in charge of everything. And then in this freaking game, it's the cat in charge of everything. All I want is some treats. Is that too much to ask for? Okay, wait, where am I supposed to go? Wait, it's very obvious that it wants me to climb up here, so it's gotta be something from here. Am I just jumping onto this? I guess that's fair. Those are definitely all gonna hatch and attack me. Can I attack them now? Oh, I can! But that was a bad plan, it overheated it. There we go. <laughs> Easy peasy. Oh, they've got a fire extinguisher. How nice. Can I jump on anything? Oh, wait, this. Bonk. I did it for you, Momo. And jumpies. Luna, what do you have? Ma'am. How you doing, Momo? I've never been this far from the sums. With you here, I'm not even scared. Why are you putting all of your trust in a cat? I am small. Nina, what are you doing? Get out of here. Oh, that's your chewing stick. Don't put your chewing stick by my cables because I know what you do. Try to act all innocent and then you chew on the toy on top of the cables and then you slowly drift onto the cables. I know how your game is, Luna. You can't fool me no more. You've eaten one too many cabling. <laughs> this is very atmospheric, but I feel like this takes very long. <laughs> Beum, 
pium, 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 pium. He just knows the codes. If they know the codes, why haven't they left way earlier? <laughs> I mean, I guess the first gate, but like, come on. Y'all are robots, make it work. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. Oh, can I jump on the barrels to go across? Like, I feel like I have to go over there. Go off, get off. Let's see. Jumpies, jumpies. I can't jump that. Hmm. Take me over there. You think I would just insta die if I went in the water? It doesn't let you go in the water anyways, but. What's up, Momo? All this old machinery is broken now. I think we can only open it manually. Thank you, that was very helpful. Is he wearing like a swimsuit? What the fuck? <laughs> Wait, look at that. He's straight up wearing like a swimsuit. <laughs> Why don't you go in the water? You're dressed for it. Jumpies, jumpies. I can't go on with you, but I won't stop looking for a way. When he finds the Baltazar and Clementine, tell them I was brave. I mean, you didn't do much. Clementine's over in like Virginia now. I can't run. Gotta climb through the amnesia goop. Nope. How do I get through the amnesia goop? Let me climb up. What does this game want from me? Oh, that it can jump now? There we go. It wouldn't let me. This is bright. Okay. Nyom. Those are big old sacks of zerks that are about to hatch. I can hear them gurgling. There's some more zerks. I mean, in theory, the idea of the Zerks, where they said that they're little things that they made to be able to um, eat trash, basically. That's a really cool idea, but then they said that there's basically not enough trash since the humans are gone, and yet everywhere we go, there's bottles and cans. So, I think it's kind of fake news. Nyom. Nyom. Keep going, come on. Up we get. Are they gonna hatch with me going by them? Oh my god, loading a new area. Hey guys. Nope. No thank you. Nope. Nope. No, 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 no. Okay, that killed a bunch of them. Jumpies. There we go. Okay, okay, bye 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 bye. Okay, Nyom. We're just obliterating them. That's a lot of Zerk eggs. Hey y'all, I don't like this. You guys are being quite rude. Okay, get out of here. Oh my goodness. Okay, what? We go up this way. Let's stop killing them and actually move on. It might be easier. There should be an achievement for killing however many Zerks. Oh my god, lagging. It does. It drops so many frames whenever you load a new area. Hi, Luna. It's okay. Is okay. Nope. How about you don't do that? How about you don't? Go ahead and get down. Get down. There you go. It's okay. You've gotten to play all day. Max's mom even took you and ran you around for like four straight hours. Excuse me, fellas. Oh. Oh, do I have to do both sides or something? I can't jump across that, though. Nyom. 
Nope, nope, no, 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 I'm jumping. Okay, wait, how do I, how do I do what I need to do? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. But. Okay. Okay, well, at least it puts us here. I don't get why I can't jump to that one. Do I have to go, like, all the way around? It looks like it. Oh, my goodness. There's so many of you on my ass. Get off of me. Get off of me. So, <laughs> there's so many of them. I have to be, like, more proactive in killing them, but I'm trying to, like, run past them and get them to group up. Okay, okay. Third time's a charm. Third time's a charm. No more deaths starting now. Yep, let's open that up. Okay, how did one grab me? Okay. Okay, okay, nope, nope, no, 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 no. Nope, 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 nope. They're very persistent. They really are. No, Luna. So is this freaking dog. Luna, this is an intense chase scene. Do you mind? Let me in. Okay, like I said, third time's a charm. We didn't need to go- Oh, those eyes? It doesn't affect him. Elgato, yep, the cat. It's the cat. But we don't know if it's Elgato or La Gata. Do you mind? Do you mind? <laughs> Ma'am? Oh, that's an angry eyeball. Oh, the cat's pissed. You're gonna overheat it. You have it on nonstop. It doesn't last that long for me. Yeah, it's overheated. Get it. Oh, he picked it up in his little mouth. Nope, bye guys. Bye guys. I don't have the weapon right now because he burnt it out. Bye bye. <laughs> They're just missing their dives. Nope, nope, nope. Bye bye. We're gonna go this way? Maybe? Yeah. Nope. No zerks. No zerks. I don't really appreciate it, and you're not being very polite by trying to suck my blood, so I'd really appreciate it if you could just stop trying to do that, because, you know, it's just, I'm gonna have to write a strongly worded letter, and nobody wants that. I know a lot of big words. Oh, let me in. Easy peasy. Why did the door just automatically close, though? <laughs> My heart monitor is itchy. <laughs> Wake up! Oh! It was dark. I was alone. I felt like I was back in the network. But you saved me. Thank you, friend. Drawing that much power was rough on my core. The deflector is completely destroyed now. We'll have to be careful. Okay, so I only get, like, the all-powerful weapon for a short period of time. I got it for, like, 20 minutes. Okay, sounds fair. Come in. Let me run. His foot like isn't even affected anymore. He like fell and hurt his foot. He was all dramatic about like walking on three legs. Hello. What's up? 
A traveler from the sewers. We haven't seen one of you in ages. Are you the one who contacted us earlier? The little outsider? Zabaltasar the outsider has been expecting you. He's meditating at the top of our village. He's meditating. <laughs> Ant village, okay. This machine, the scientist I assisted used one of these. He was sick. This was my last hope. He walked into the machine. But I wasn't with him. He was alone. What was he doing? He uploaded himself to a computer, and then everything was different. But the upload, something went wrong. He was stuck for hundreds of years. Until a little cat appeared. That's me! Was it? It was! Me! I was the scientist. I was human. I I need a moment. It's okay. You got plenty of moments. Hello. Are you Zabaltazar? I'm sorry. I I need a moment. I don't feel like talking right now. Well, you're literally the translator. Kind of like sucks for you, but like I got to do things. Scratch the paint. Scratch the paint. Ah. It's a... You should try it, robot. Achievement unlocked. Catastrophe. <laughs> For catastrophe. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I can scratch the couch too? Let's go ahead. Scratchy, 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 scratchy. He's got a painting of another robot. Okay, well, let's go up. Aw, oh, swing! <laughs> okay, well, I guess this was the wrong set of stairs. There we go. Up we get. Oh, this tree goes out. Can we climb on the tree? They let me for a second. Come on. What's out here? I'm in my natural environment. That's a lot of damage. Are those all just dead robots? Are we gonna have a Detroit become human scene where all the robots are trying to grab me? Climby, climby. What else have I forgotten? Do you know you play as a cat in this game? I didn't! Tell me how to change to that! I must have had parents, friends. What happened to everyone? I wanted to open the city, but is there even anyone left to save? Probably not. Are you gonna let me talk to anybody yet? What would you do without me, SMH? <laughs> I can't climb up there, apparently. Um, let's see. Hmm. And I can't meet you because he doesn't want to talk. Climby climbies? There we go. Climby climbies. Hello! You Are you Zabaltazar? You kind of look like Cthulhu. What is this? Oh. One of them's upside down, one of them's sideways. Yeah, I can't read them, man. Hey, don't you know not to interrupt a fellow during his transcendental meditation? Oh, it's you. You were with Momo when we received that call earlier. I'm glad to meet you at last, little outsider. You know Momo and Doc, so you're already familiar with us outsiders. I miss them. Their memory brings me peace. Momo stayed in the slums. I heard you helped find Doc and Clementine. She's in Midtown now. If you still want to see the outside, she's the one who can get you there. Apparently she had some kind of plan to leave the city. Watch little of your junk streams on YouTube. <laughs> Which one did you watch? Because a few of them are quite classics. <laughs> Here, take this. I wrote her address on the back of this picture. If you if you didn't find it, there is the um, playlist on my YouTube of drunk streams. <laughs> to reach Midtown, climb up our little village. It should be easy for a dexterous one like you. 
If you manage to reach the outside, you will be able, you will be the very first. I'd wish you good luck, but you don't need it. I believe in you. Okay. I'm sorry for shutting down earlier. I'm human. Probably the last in the world. Now look what's left of me. So much has come back to me. How much have I forgotten? The amnesia one, the most recent one, got really bad. <laughs> Cause like, I couldn't even make it through much of amnesia. I was- I got so drunk and I was like spooked and I just couldn't figure out what I was supposed to be doing. So I have no idea where I left off in amnesia. I really don't remember. <laughs> like, I know at one point we went to try to find like an elevator and like the elevator wasn't working or something. I don't remember anything after that. So I guess I'm the perfect person to play amnesia because I have amnesia. <laughs> Maybe if we find Clementine, we can restore my memories and get you back home at the same time. We can go back down and find out more from the companions or head on to Midtown. I say we head on to Midtown. I can't do a leap of splat like in Assassin's Creed. Down we go. Bonk, bonk. Down we get. I like how they placed little pieces of wood specifically for me because they obviously don't need it. Okay, but how do I get to Midtown? Is Midtown still in this area, or do I have to go like all the way back? I'd, if, I'd, I'd, man, I'd, I'd imagine I don't have to go all the way back. Let's see. Let's talk with this guy. There's a lot to see, but I remember your family was trying to give you water, and you wouldn't take it. Ah, so that was one of the original ones. That must have been like Manuel Samuel. <laughs> <laughs> you kept saying no water, no water. I don't drink water. I don't like it. <laughs> Zabaltus are the outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know he's been expecting me, but how do I get to Midtown? Do I go down? No. I'd imagine I don't have to go all the way back, because, like, if she was an outsider, wouldn't she be out here? Oh, drop more paint. Did you know there are more than 900 shades of white paint? Don't tell anyone, but I'm creating my own shade of paint. I'm calling it garbage brown. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> bucket. There we go. Always just gotta be in the bucket. Remember from Stanley Parable, it is my lifelong best friend. Hello, do you guys know how to get to Midtown? Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Okay. I was a bellbot many cycles ago, but I've repurposed myself into a treasure hunter. Don't be fooled by the sound of it. It can be hard and gruesome, just like this arm I just found. Poor fellow, may he rest in peace. <laughs> they were waiting the whole game to make that joke. Huh. Oh, take red plant. Okay. What does that do for me? I'll probably need it later, I'd imagine. Huh. Okay, so this is not the way to get to Midtown. Uppies, uppies. You gotta scale it all up instead of taking the bucket again. I can't mess it up again. Not until they fix it all. What's up, sir? Electric jerk everywhere. Okay. Let's see. Oh, hello there. It's been so long since we've had a visitor. Visitor. Ugh. Well, except those damn zerks, of course. Imagine if you could harness their power. Having them run in a wheel or something. Such wasted potential. The only thing is, Positive Tony, I'm pretty sure you said you're in Florida, and most of my drunk streams are usually later in the day, because I don't want to get, like, drunk off my mind at, like, noon. <laughs> so when I do a drunk stream, I usually start at, like, at least 6 p.m., like, minimum. <laughs> so it will be pretty late for you if you, if you did want to be there for a drunk stream. <laughs> when I grow up, I want to be like Aunt Clementine. I want to explore like she did, but the grown-ups are forbade us from leaving Aunt Village. Hmm, okay, well he did say that Clementine wasn't in 
the slums anymore or where we were. So I've got to be able to get to Midtown somewhere from here. Let us okay, let us ascend to Midtown. Okay, so it's got to be up then. Oops. Up we get. So what, do I go up here? Okay. That one tool, a tip, helped me so much. Just telling me I had to go up. <laughs> Hello, where's Clementine? Hello, buddy. How are you? His name's Malo. That means bad in Spanish. Two Clementines, but only one Clem. True, we got Clem in our hearts still. She's the little badass, the 11 year old that does everything in now she's in Virginia, I'm pretty sure. Hello, buddy. How are you? Did you know that Aunt Clementine taught us how to grow special plants that can live without sunlight? I have a huge collection of them. Do you want to see? I'm still missing some colors, though. I'm sure I'll be able to make it perfect. <laughs> I'm missing a yellow paint, a red one, and yes, a purple plant. Plant, not paint. If only someone small and agile could get them for me. I have a red one. Here you go. Oh, wow. It's so pretty. Thank you. Could you find the other for me? Please, please. Whatever. So, we need white plant and a purple plant? This is a white plant. Luna, what are you doing? Oh my goodness, you were right here. Uh, uh, you made me drop my controller. Uh, uh, <laughs> there we go. We have one. We'll get it. Oh, head pain, head pain, head pain. Okay, it's fast. Whew. Some of those waves freaking suck. No more. I threw it for you once. You got to play all day. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Puppies. Oh, is that how you get to Midtown? How did the robots get here then? Hello? Oh, wait. Why is Max calling me? Hello, sir. I'm streaming. Watch what you say. Hey, baby. I'm streaming. Careful what you say. <laughs> Um, I was just saying it's, uh, sunset time, and I'm almost home. Okay, well, I've, I've, I'm streaming a bit. I'm probably gonna go for a bit longer, just so you're aware. Okay. Okay. Love you. Love you, bye. Okay. <laughs> Calling me to tell me it is sunset. <laughs> Give me back my mobile dashboard. What time is it for me? 7.31. Well, it's not sunset yet. He means, he said sunset time. He set an alarm for every day for 7.30 because sunset's around like 8.20 and he like he loves watching sunset. So he always wants to like be ready for it. That's why he said he's coming home. It's currently 7.31 p.m. on August 2nd. Destiny still can't go to work. It's already 10.30 for you. Oof. So you're three hours ahead as well. So is Tony. Look, this is a subway station. I had completely forgotten this kind of transportation existed. You could ride to anywhere in the city. People used to take it to go to work. I used to take it too. Every morning after saying goodbye to the family at home. I remember, I was doing this for them, but they're gone now. Oops. I've got the wrong thing open. There we go. My mobile dashboard. It was so long ago. They wanted to see the outside, but does that even matter anymore? What happened to them? What happened to everyone? Anyway, we're near Midtown now. Let's find this Clementine. With a picture of her, we can show it to some of the companions around here. Maybe they'll point us in the right direction. New memory unlocked. I never opened that safe in the slums. That's kind of a bummer. Let's see. Can we make this go? Hmm. Or can we just go upstairs? Much easier, much easier. We can fit in those small holes. Water. It's probably dirty like the rest of it. Oh. Where are you going? I'm just a kid. Why are you running away? Why do you have a red leg? What's going on here? 
please leave me alone. I'm not the one you're looking for. If you're looking for Clementine, I'm sure she's hiding in the residence. Okay. Oh. Achievement unlocked catwalk. <laughs> Let's see. Nothing of interest up here. What's up? Hmm. Consider this. Tomorrow, if I replace my arm with another robotic arm, and then the next day my other arm too, and then my body, and so on, until I've replaced all my parts and upgraded my software, will I be the same robot you're talking to now? You're reading a book about how to be a ninja. Where did you get this philosophical thought? Okay. What's up? At Nikocorp, we work all day long to gather the waste and send it downstairs where they recycle and repurpose it. No, they do not. Speaking of downstairs, it has been a while since we had news from them. Have you played multiverses? No, they were actually telling me about it yesterday. I saw it on Steam and stuff, but I'm not, I'm not super into those kinds of brawl games. I'm busy, what do you want? Okay, gosh, damn. Hmm. Where's Clementine's residence? And why is up here so much nicer? Oh, look at they got little hats. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, is that Max? Is that Max Luna? Is that Max? I hear noises. What is it? <laughs> oh, <I> <laughs> quiet, quiet. She was being so good for a while. Okay, where would we find Clementine? Oh, I can't open these vending machines. The other ones gave me a drink. Why is it all quiet now? What do you mean you forgot your character sheet? Oh, is this for d and I spent the whole week preparing for this session. Yeah, it's for d and I'm sorry, I forgot where I put it. But let's play anyway. I'll go in that cave. Let's go. Um, let me in. What's that noise? I hold. I oiled up all my bearings last month. No, I'm not gonna open it. Okay. What does that say? I was gonna laugh if it said welcome, even though they don't speak English. Oh, here's a cable. Cable leads over here, though. Can I scratch it this way? Oh, no, that's a water pipe. Okay. Anything here? No. Where would I find Clementine's residence? They seem like they're an important person, so you'd think they'd have, like, a nice place, right? Oh. Is this gonna be it? <laughs> oh. I thought you were a scent. Never mind. Who are you? Oh, probably a sentinel. Or a sentry. What do you want? Oh, wait. Oops. Answer me. What are you doing in my house? Wait, so Zabaltazar finally decided to send someone? I guess you're my new recruit. You're not very big. How did you even manage the sewers? I guess you must be pretty resourceful. I've been looking for a way out to the outside ever since I left Ant Village, but the Sentinels are always watching. Now that you're here, you can help. Follow me. Let's go, Clementine. <laughs> How do I get up there, though? Oh. Oh. This would be so cool! I've always wanted a space like this in my house, so you've got, like, a little, like... Loft situation kind of going on, bro. This would be my dream. Okay, Clementine, where are we going? I've been working on a plan to use this old subway for a while now. I even have the keys to start it. All we need is an atomic battery to power it. I know Nico Corporation has secured the has one secured inside their factory. I have a contact who can help us infiltrate them. I don't know his name, but he's the robot with a bomber jacket and a gold chain. Take this message to him. Okay. Bomber jacket and gold chain. 
Someone small and swift like you should have no trouble sneaking inside the factory. One last thing, don't hesitate to ask around for help. The city is full of information. Just stay clear of the sentinels. Okay. Bomber jacket, gold chain. Oh, wait, that's the way I got it. Oops. Go, go, go. You don't got a bomber jacket, you got a puffy jacket. Bomber jacket, nope. Anyone around these parts got a bomber jacket? Is that guy I already tried to talk to? The mean one. Uh, that's not the way I came. Where is the way I came from? Nope, I'm already lost. Okay, wait, so I did come this way because I saw that shop. Where was he? No bomber jacket. Hmm. Big loud. Well, oh. no bomber jacket. Oh, he tripped over me. What? I can make them actually trip over me? Having a character by the same name of Clementine True the same day as well. Trip him again. Trip him. Fuck him up. <laughs> okay, where is the guy in the bomber jacket with the gold chain? No. What is that? Access to lower level is restricted due to organic life hazards. Please keep out of this area. <laughs> oh. Bomber jacket? No, not really. Hmm. So there's a theory that's theory that suggests we are all inside an underground bunker city. Made of things are presented to us as shadows on the wall, but those shadows are made up by someone. And in order to learn the truth, we must exit this underground city at the risk of being dazzled. Of course, that's only metaphorical. Can I show him that? Hmm. Okay, not him. Not him. Ooh, I'm not feeling great. Okay, probably not too much longer. <laughs> Max gets home and I immediately feel like shit. Okay, where are we going? Bomber jacket, gold chain? Bomber jacket? I'm busy, what do you want? This. Yeah, it's him. It is the guy I tried to talk to. Where did you get that? Oh, you're with the outside my contact? Let me brief you about this atomic battery. The battery is powering the Nikocorp factory right there, but the whole area is restricted and heavily guarded. They check every person who enters and turns away anyone who is not a worker. But I'm just a little cat. Here's an idea. Go get me a worker jacket and a worker helmet while I stay here to check for a good time to enter. Okay, wait, let's see. Well, that gives us a checkpoint. <laughs> so now that I'm all of a sudden feeling like, should I do apologize? Freaking hell. I'm gonna go ahead. <sighs> and, and for today, but I will go live again tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and commit that I'm gonna at least start the stream tomorrow um, around noon, like today, um, and that I'll play some more of The Walking Dead because I know y'all love that. <laughs> oh, I feel like I'm gonna vomit. Okay, well, thanks to everybody who hung out. Sorry for the short stream later in the day, but at least we did get two in one day. And have a good rest of your night. See any of you tomorrow.